Welcome back, y'all. Good morning. Okay, you don't need to wake me up in the morning. I can get my own ass out of bed, thank you very much. Well, at least nobody changed me while I was unconscious again. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Good morning. Sounds about right. Sorry. Hmm. But well, you could just cover your mouth like literally everybody else does. See, I just yawned now and covered my mouth. See? Sure. I wonder how the whole break a leg became a saying for good luck. Another day. Hey, honestly. Huh? I'll get to introducing myself to them in a little bit. Jeez. Oh, sorry. Okay, Eliza. Pleased to meet you. Real oddly enough, this is your first opportunity to change difficulties. And yes, I would love to play on hard mode. Just because I'm a fucking glutton for punishment. But I already talked to you. So in this game, a huge quality of life improvement. You can tell who you've already talked to or not based on that floating little blue bubble above their head. And of course, by talking to people, you get points towards their affection. Sometimes, apparently. Sometimes you gotta talk to them a couple times to get those points. Yeah, great, no problem so far. <clears throat>
So even though we just talked to her, that doesn't count as talking to her for the purposes of getting extra points. Still doesn't. Do we finally? Yes, we do. Alright. So before I do anything else, we've got some, uh, turnips to plant. Wow! I'm definitely gonna have to fuck with the graphics a little. Maybe. Yeah, you probably shouldn't distract them. Uh, the fuck did I just tell you? Hmm? Who are you? Oh, fantastic. We have met the cold and aloof cool guy of the town. Sir, Master Derek, a new seed trainee's here. What's that, Martin? A new seed trainee is here. A blue seed train's near where? The blue sea, I would assume. Please stay your hand for a moment, sir. Oh, excuse me. Why didn't you tell me we got a customer? Because I'm not a customer. I ain't got shit for money. Not a customer. Seed's latest recruit. Ah, the new kid in town. Granny Yuki told me about you. Name's Derek. I'm a blacksmith around these parts. Martin here's my apprentice. Must be rough, losing your memory. Wish I could help. I mean, if you believe cartoons, a good whack on the head with one of them giant ass mallets might do the trick. Get that close to me again, please. Well, long swords are my preferred weapon. Can I make a puncher, though? I guess not.
Now, I'm not gonna go for a hundred percent completion, I can already tell you this, because that would involve having to craft and ship a minimum of one of everything in the game, and there's a lot of shit in the game. Some of which I would assume falls under general Rune Factory rules of getting the items to make it can be a multi-hour, if not potentially multi-day, uh, excursion. Not at all. So he's talking about inspiration bread. If we eat bread, uh, recipe breads or inspiration breads or whatever you want to call them, We'll gain new recipes uh, based on how high our skill level is with certain things. So say a uh, weapon bread will give you weapon recipes if a uh, certain weapon is of a certain weapon skill level. A huge note on that though is for weapons and farm tools, you need not only a high, say, farm tools, you need not only a high farming level, but also a high smithing level in order to gain new recipes. And at a certain point, you won't be able to gain new recipes, instead having to go out and get higher level uh, recipe breads. Studio Palmo. I don't like the sound of that. Thank you very much. You say I've wasted Master's time so much already, but according to my statistics here, neither of y'all have points towards your affection. So fuck you, I'm gonna waste more of his time. Where is he? There he is. Equip that. That's so. Dude, I have already asked you to not get this close. What's up? That's right. So, as a note, something I do actually have to give this game. It shows you who is a potential love interest based on the icon next to their uh, uh, name and all that. So, say, Livia and, uh, and Derek have those just little smiley faces. Those mean that you can only be friends with them, whereas Priscilla, Lucy, Martin, all them, uh, they are all... Uh, potential love interests, as indicated with the hearts. As a huge thing, though, it is nice that they have made those of a less than straight persuasion, uh, like being a male character and going for Martin or Murakumo, uh, you can still do those relationships, unlike in previous um, Rune Factory games. Yeah, I just want to chat. 
So it is slightly quicker to dash around town, but I'm not going to dash around town purely because that's an annoying sound. It's a case! It's a case! Hmm, briefcase maybe. Oh! Oh, it's you again! Hi. Show some respect. This young yeah. man's predicament is nothing for you to get excited about. Now, on the topic of um, potential love interests in this game and all that, I have taken a look over uh, the, uh, the Bachelor and Bachelorette options, and I did do oh, gosh. a roll. Uh, RNG roll off screen to see which one I would be going for, and I know exactly who I'm going to go for this playthrough, and we'll touch on it when we actually meet that uh, character. I hope you'll accept my apology, too. I'm the one who got him all riled up over a new incident. Ah! Uh... You are correct. Not that it was much of a riddle. <laughs> I own the general store, but I work with Seed on the side. Here's to the start of a beautiful friendship. Yes! Unfortunately, that particular bachelorette isn't going to be available for a while. Excuse me? Can I also be your friend? No. You can be my best friend. Of course! Awesome! Thank you! You. So this guy does own the general store, and as a result... Once where you can... Okay, I guess he's just not gonna let me buy anything right now. Uh, and talking to him, you can buy shit. Specifically, seeds. So even though this is an NPC, it's not one of the ones we need to work, hmm, worry about talking to. Fucking hiccups. Now, these first few episodes will be a little bit more on the long form, as I want to keep these tutorial days in their own standalone episodes. As we make our way out of these tutorial days, and the days become shorter because I'm doing, you know, repetitive farm work and or going to dungeons, uh, I'll potentially have more than just a singular day in one episode. Welcome. Bearded Grandpa. Sorry about that. Well, tan my hide and call me Shirley. If it ain't dear old Bearded Grandpa. Even though he's got mutton chops and a moustache. You're 
the new seed trainee, aren't you? And a dear old pleasant granny. Oh, well, do you know who this is, Yuki? Hey, try not to lose your glasses on top of your head. I say this purely out of I understand the embarrassment of losing glasses when you're actively having them on your person. Priscilla told me all about our new neighbor. That girl was positively beaming with excitement. I well, hope she wasn't expecting to, uh, to get her dick wet with me, because, uh, yeah, RNG says I'm going for someone else. Isn't that something? Say, I'm Randolph. Hi, Randolph. My wife Yuki and I run this little bakery. Hi, Yuki. Feel free to drop in and chat anytime, <laughs> even if you aren't looking to buy. Huh? I will absolutely do that. Because I was informed of a side quest much later on that unfortunately does require me to get everybody up to max friendship level 10. It could technically go higher than 10 for everybody, but... Uh... Well, I just want to catch up on the latest bus. <laughs> but my husband here lives for tales of adventure. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get everybody to 10. Whatever you happen to hear through the grapevine, <laughs> we'll be happy to lend an ear. Yeah. Still working hard, I see. Gam Gam, there you are. Hello there. Hi. I mean, light and fluffy does always sound good. <laughs> When it comes to rolls, anyways. Alright, so good old Rudolph and Gam Gam. So let's check the map real fast. We got one, two, three, four, five. Um, well, I'm gonna go over to the seed headquarters real quick first, though, and go have a little chit chat with Cecil. Just to mark the. Guess what? Mm, chicken butt. Out okay. I'm gonna constantly water the floor in this game. I can already tell you this. How about now? Yes. Watering for good luck. Alright, let's check out the tree. to teleport because um you were just over in seed headquarters <gasps> sorry 
okay? It, it's nothing. I was wrong to be suspicious of you. I mean, while I appreciate the sus uh, sentiment, honestly, you should still be suspicious of me. Get into some uh, interesting things. Uh, as a quick note, we got our missions here listed under events. One of the things that I know I don't like about this game is that the side stories you can only do one at a time. So if you get uh, certain levels of affection ratings for a bunch of people all at once, you can only do one heart event, including non-love interests at a time. You can't, say, do uh, Priscilla's and Randolph's within the same day, unless Priscilla's ends uh, immediately. Unfortunately, there are very few I can, uh, I know of, at least early on, that is just single parts. A lot of them, from the uh, little playtesting I did, span over multiple days. Jeez. You've got a crush on Hina, don't you? Okay, you're just nutter butters, along with your sister. But next time, I'm gonna win for sure. I'm sure you will. Hey! I 
better not say it's a draw. You bitch. So these generic NPCs that are milling about, again, yeah, you don't, even though they have names, you don't need to talk to them. So we got Julian over in there. Hina up there. shouldn't be breathing in toxic fumes. Simone? Oh my. I mean, fair point. No, thank you. Like a kid. I'll quit treating you like a kid if you stop acting like a kid. So going up and downstairs is pretty slow, but I did figure out pretty early on that you can just dash up and down the stairs to make it go very quick. You know, little quality of life improvements. <laughs> Please don't do that again. Huh? How unlucky. You are our 9,999th visitor. Had you been the 10,000th, I would have given you a crystal as a customer appreciation prize. Oh, okay. Yes, it sure is. So very unfortunate. How about this? Why don't you step out of the shop for a moment, then come back in? <sighs> You better not lock the door. Okay. 
okay, so everybody in this town is weird. Got it. Nah. No, no, my friend. You should have asked me to step outside with you. Uh, uh. Yeah, I don't get it. I do not believe that's really analogous to full-on amnesia, I'm not sorry to say. Where are my manners? I'm Heinz, proprietor of this crystal shop. Hey, hi, SketchUp. Wait, no, your hair is yellow, so... Heinz Worcestershire sauce. Mr. E. Nigma, Edward Nigma, he's made his transfer over here from DC Comics? We better be on our guard. Ooh. After all, nobody wants to deal with the Riddler. You're not creepy at all, lady. Ugh. Joyous joy. You wouldn't happen to be related to a chef in another city, would you? your eyes on this if you take off your pants I'm gonna stab you I Palmo Criasse de Saint Coquille have poured forth my entire being into this one sheet okay that's fine um correct mundo Wonderment. That's definitely a word. Hmm? But I am getting ahead of myself. Who, might I ask, are you? Someone with amnesia. Hello? Momo, can you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. Okay, we can't have two cool, quiet, and aloof people in town. You two are gonna have to have a death match. See who's the coolest and quietest. Your laziness is also inspiring, young Riker. How magnificently your work has piled up. 
Hmm. I'll get straight to it. Tomorrow. Today, I rest. That is Riker, the apprentice carpenter under my tutelage. If I let him oversleep, he becomes completely useless. And with that, Why are you going that way if you're going to construct something? So Palmo is who we uh, as who we talk to in order to build new furniture, housing, etc. So he's given us a free cooking set. Hey. Hey. Hmm. I mean, I don't know how I could be a flunky if I haven't, if I'm not even a part of them yet. But. Looks like we're just missing Hina and Murakumo. Or Murakumo. First things first, let's go on and grab, grab this. And take it on over to my house. y'all we're almost done with this day uh, let's just drop it in front of the store for now while I'm at it nope that should be it never mind bathhouse to me. Yo, if it isn't the hero of the hour. For any thought? Yeah, I'm not staying here. There's plenty of room for you to stay at my place. Perks of being the innkeeper. Oh. Tempting, but again, no. I'm glad that everything worked out. Hang in there. If you ever need a break, come take a dip in our spa. I'll definitely be taking advantage of this because going to the bathhouse is a yes! surprisingly cheap means of 
restoring your health and stamina to its fullest. And then we are forced to go to sleep. See y'all next time with day three. See ya.